Ihedi Oha is coming back as Imo governor. Akuwi DK insists. A popular political analyst and writer in Imo State, Mazi Obina Akuwi DK, have restated his conviction that former governor of Imo State, Right Honorable Emeka Ihedi Oha, will return to power as Imo State governor. Akuwi DK was speaking to Mazi TV correspondent Mercy Anele when he made this disclosure. Akuwi DK, a former critic of Ihedio Ha, stated that he cannot in good conscience deny the fact that Ihedio Ha won the 2019 general elections. I didn't vote Ihedio Ha. I was never his fan, but I can't in good conscience deny the truth that Ihedio Ha won the 2019 general elections. I have dared Ozodima in a video on my wall to swear before God that he won the election. He cannot do it. That ruling by Supreme Court greatly embarrassed Nigeria. I have friends abroad who call me and tell me how that ruling has shamed the Nigerians abroad. The Philip Umedi case has presented the Supreme Court an opportunity to redeem itself. Why they are dragging their feet over the matter is an issue that gives credence to the rumors that we have been hearing everywhere, that justice is now for sale and that money can determine the verdict you get. Look at Imo today. Pensioners are old. Workers protested yesterday. They have been old for almost a year. Yet, Uzodima is celebrating one year in office. One year of what? Ihedioha was not ready to compromise. He was not ready to use Imo funds to buy judgment because he knew Imo people wholeheartedly voted for him. Today, one wonders why pensioners and civil servants are being old. We hear stories of monies used to settle for verdicts and all of that. And when you see the Supreme Court dragging its feet from doing the right thing, you tend to believe whatever you hear. Are pensioners and civil servants old because money is used to sit on a suit to make sure it doesn't come up? They know the outcome of that suit when it comes up. We want to see the next lie they will tell us or if they will prove to the world for once that there are people with integrity in Nigeria. This case has embarrassed Nigeria. I'm ashamed to be a Nigeria because of this case. The judiciary is supposed to be impartial, uncorruptible, and the last hope of the common man. Ihedio is a common man who will not use public funds to get favorable judgment. That is his only sin. You know me, I'm not his fan. He even accused me once of not liking him. But I don't blame him because I probably gave him that idea because I criticized him very much, even when he personally called me to work with him. But I cannot deny the fact that Ihe Dioha won that election. And whether it is through Philip Umedi or 2023, Ihe Dioha will reclaim his mandate. God is on the throne and he does not support injustice. It pains me when you even see supposed men of God congratulating evil. Some do so because their church members is the perpetrator. Speak out when you see evil because you don't know tomorrow. How the fourth jump to the first is something nobody can explain. I'm happy that many of those who join hands in making this happen are the ones crying today. Rochas is crying. Ararume is crying. Does he think Uzadima will ever let him go to the Senate? They have money to waste until they right the wrong they did to emo people. That's what they will keep seeing. God is alive. You better believe it today. Ihedioha is coming. Wow, this is really, really strong. <laughs> really strong. The big question is that we can't really understand why this um, Emeka Ihedioha's, uh, I beg your pardon, um, Philip Umedi and Hope Ozodima's case has been stalling. We've been hearing of Philip Umedi versus um, Hope Ozodima. That, that um, court case is um, Philip Umedi's son is praying the Supreme Court to just give explanation, just interpret their earlier judgment because it was the same um, Supreme Court who uh, um, uh, um, stated that um, Uche Owonsu was the rightful candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC. And at some point, when they found out that um, Uche Owonsu had dual candidacy, he was also uh, a candidate for the action AA, they decided to um, nullify APC, that APC had no candidate. So if APC had no candidate, where did uh, where did uh, 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 Hope Ozodima, where did he come from? That is all Philip Umedi is praying the court to interpret. And guess what? This case has never come my life. It was meant, there was meant to be a sitting, a hearing in January. 
no explanation why the hearing did not hold nothing has been done and it's such a shame like um this um, political analyst rightly stated that um, it's a shame to the country he said he's been mocked on several occasions our judicial system they have no credibility because i i you know some person stated that that is the 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 court will never sit the supreme court will never sit because they don't have an explanation to give to philip umedi so that is the only reason um, they will not sit and there are many uh, um speculations that hope Ozodima is behind the reason why the court is not sitting is just buying time delaying them because there's nothing keeping the court from sitting from actually um dealing to um dealing with that request but um this um, analyst he has stated that he's very confident that emeka ahead yoha who was the rightful winner of the governorship election is the way he was speaking he said that it's not like i'm a fan i'm a loyalist of emeka ahead yoha but his conscience will not allow him um not to speak the truth the truth is emeka ahead yoha actually won the election but they used backdoor apc did it somehow somehow and right now his finger then rocha sukurocha that all of them are the people who worked against emeka ahead yoha all of them are suffering and they are all suffering it right now but i don't know the possibility but he, he left us with two possibilities here he said one either emeka ahead yoha will return back through the philip umedi versus hopo zodima case or it will be 2023 when another election is due that um, he's going to claim his mandate. I really don't know how that will be. And uh, I know very well that the people of Imo State, they still, they don't, they have a lot of reservation for Hope Ozadima. If not, they wouldn't call him Supreme Court Governor. We know he's been referred to as Supreme Court Governor. When he was celebrating this one year anniversary, uh, uh, the people of Imo State really dragged him that he should go and celebrate with only APC members. They are not celebrating anything. What are they celebrating for? He was celebrating his Supreme Court judgment. How the fourth became first. He was dragged from number four to, to the first position. So, but all through, consider Emeka Hedio has been so calm. Um, you know, um, this Mazi Obina Okudik, he stated that um, uh, um, Emeka Hedio had just decided that, no, I won't waste Emo's fund to fight this case. They want me to step aside. Yes, I'll step aside in the right time uh and things will fall in place he respects emeka ahedio has so much for that and that is why he believes strongly that uh, emeka ahedio is coming back as governor guys let's hear if you if you believe that this is a possibility you know these two possibilities that he gave i don't know if this is a uh, possible because some persons are telling okudike that he should continue dreaming dreams that um, this is not going to happen another person states that emo is a confirmed fulani Caliphate. Another one, Uche wants to won the election, not he hate you. So mixed reactions here anyway, but uh, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I like, come your way again with more updates. Bye.